Hi, I'm Rachel Funk with Grand Canyon Conservancy. This is the Conservancy's logo that I'm wearing on my shirt. Today, we're going to be exploring and seeing what we can discover. Hey, I'm Ranger Annie. It's a hot day here at Grand Canyon National Park, so I'm glad to be wearing this ranger hat that gives me just a little bit of shade. Rachel and I are in a pinion pine juniper forest, which is a common ecosystem here at the canyon and throughout the southwest. Take a look. Plants in this environment have adapted to a hot, dry area with rocky soil. Juniper trees have gray shaggy bark, while pinion pines have short needles and small cones. Rachel and I were just talking about this plant we discovered. It's got stiff green blades that appear to be growing and coming up from the center of the plant. Look at this sharp needle-like tip. I wonder why it has that. And there are these string-like fibers on the sides of the blades. I wonder what they could be used for. This plant reminds me of the desert plants that my grandmother has in her garden in Phoenix, with the sharp spikes and liking lots of room to grow. We've both got our field guides, so let's see what we can learn. It's a banana yucca, which is a member of the agave family. Banana yucca is an important food source for animals that live in pinion pine juniper forests. This is what the fruit looks like. The fruit is a light bluish green and the shape reminds me of a papaya, plantain, even a banana. No wonder it's called a banana yucca. People, plants, and animals all depend on each other for survival. The yucca shown here has a special relationship with the yucca moth. This small silver grade moth pollinates the yucca flowers and the yucca provides a safe place for the moth to lay its eggs and food for its young. Throughout time, people have really depended on the yucca using different parts of the plant to make over 40 different things. Yucca fiber was used by some ancestral native peoples to make sandals and baskets. Today, yucca fiber is used by some Native American tribes to make baskets. There's so much to discover outdoors. It's a great day to be in the pinion juniper forest where the yucca and other hardy plants live. The yucca is a great example of a relationship between plants, animals, and humans in an ecosystem. Thanks for joining us on our explorations. Now it's time for you to get outside and safely explore the ecosystems where you live. Be sure to check out the online activities on ecosystems. Bye from the canyon!